So you guys want to know what you should add to your arsenal when it comes to equipment and machines. Should you get a vinyl cutter? Should you get some type of printer? Well, you guys got questions, and I've got answers. You guys are watching Ask Stan the Man. How you guys doing? My name is Stan Best from T-Shirt. Side hustle, and I help people start T-Shirt businesses from home. Where are you at? And we're going to jump to the answer to this question right after the intro. <laughs> do you guys know what i need you to do for me i need you to like this video comment subscribe do it like this stuff because i make videos like this all the time yes i mean all the time so as you guys know you guys got questions and i've got answers so i'm going to read this question and i'm going to get on a roll and i'm going to give you guys the answer so this came from a youtube comment on the video of me and the self-employed tax guy discussing why i think every business or every person should have a heat press basically right uh so uh, SSNCE dot apparel asked, I have a screen printing one color. Do I need a vinyl cutter? If I do, is Cricut maker good? I also have a heat press. What printer should I get? Okay. So I get asked a ton about what equipment someone should get. Right. And I've kind of said this over and over again, but I don't mind saying it again. Ultimately, when it comes to picking what printer you should get next when it comes to uh picking out what equipment you should get next to answer that in the comment should you get a cutter i don't know should you get uh some type of printer i don't know what we all have to understand and think about is all of these tools and when it comes to picking which tool you use next or you purchase or you invest into next you got to figure out what the end result is of what it is that you're trying to make so that could be a personal thing or that could be a customer thing i suggest if you have customers you should be listening to the jobs that you're turning down the things that you can't complete the things that people are asking you for first then you try to figure out what it is that you can add as an accent what products could you add uh, to your business that your customer base, your particular demographic that you're serving could use. Maybe they don't know they can use it. And now I decide, hey, my customers need this, yes or no? Can I add this to my arsenal and my customers will want it because it fits the demographic, yes or no? Lastly, this could just personally depend on you. If you're out making stuff, you're doing stuff for your brand, what is it that you want to make? Look at the final results. Hey, I wanna make mugs. I wanna add mugs to my business. Well, what do you need to do mugs? You need a mug press. Cool, let me get a mug press. Uh, you need a, a sublimation printer. Cool, let me get a sublimation printer. Stop thinking and looking at all of these equipment. Stop trying to keep up with the Joneses and all of that stuff. Stop looking at all this equipment and saying, oh man, that's cool. I'm going to get that next. You know, I don't look at it that way. And I suggest you don't because there will always be something new, right? Remember DTG was supposed to stop the industry years ago. It's the best thing ever. And then what you find with practical use of people actually getting to using it, it wasn't the process that everybody thought it would be. So it's lasted through, right? Now, the new phenomenon is DTF. DTF is a great print method, print options for certain reasons. Does it fit your business? Is it what you wanna do? Yes, no, you gotta decide based on the end results that you're looking for, what is it that you're trying to make? What is it that you can sell? What is it that your customer base uh, wants? What what? consider all of these options and then take a look you know hey i need to add a full color print method to my business right right now the easiest way to get into full color printing is uh, a home inkjet printer home inkjet printer grab some nina paper but what is this going to be good for i'm not using this for clothing brands i'm not going to use this uh for anything outside of some novelty one time two time three time wear shirts that's birthdays, that's memorial shirts, that's uh, 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 character shirts, different things like that, right? Celebration shirts, what I call like a graduation shirt or something like that, right? So overall, that is the easiest way to get into it. But if you're not doing one-off customs where you got somebody coming in for a funeral 
or somebody's graduation or something like that, if that's not your style of work, would you invest into that? No, I wouldn't because I'm not putting that on my clothing brand because I know what the quality, what it's gonna stand for, if that makes sense. So what is the next option? Okay, cool. The next is DTF. DTF uh, is a new technology. You need a converter printer. Are you computer savvy? Are you printer savvy? Can you work on these printers? Can you do some of the things that you need to do to maintain them? Yes, invest into it. No, don't, right? You keep going down the line. What's next? White toner. Where does white toner fit in? What is it that you can produce with white toner? All right, then you go into the next one. Okay, print and cut. What are the uh, advantages of print and cut? Am I doing sign business? Am I doing this type of business? Uh, do I want to print on yard signs? Do, is there other things that I want to do? Do I want to make stickers? This is where a print and cut machine would fold very, very well uh, if you look at the scale of things, right? Um, what's, what comes after that? Then you're looking at a higher end DTF printer. Well, am I a transfer? Am I trying to be a transfer manufacturer? Yes or no? I believe when you get into those 24 inch plus size, you invest in 13 or 13 plus, even a $30,000 printer, you know, you are not a person that is just making shirts anymore. Now you're a transfer manufacturer. Is that the way that you want to go? Yes. Okay. Go ahead and invest into that. No. And don't invest into that. Right. Then you get to DTG and, you know, you decide whether or not you want to go into DTG. You can always look at used equipment. So the short answer to this question is, should you buy a vinyl cutter? You probably should. Right. If you want to do multicolor custom shirts, that's a good option. Uh, if you, that's not your business, I'm not sure where it will benefit you to get a vinyl cutter, right? When you say what printer, or should I get a printer because I have a heat press? Well, what printer? What printer are you looking at? What are you trying to make? These are the questions that you guys have to ask yourself when it comes to uh, figuring out what equipment you're gonna buy next. If you go ask any of these company reps, these any of these salespeople uh, what it is that you know, you should get, they're always going to sell you the next day. You could have bought a DTG printer. You know, they're not going to say, hey, you know, you can just get DTF prints on your DTG machine. They're going to come and say, hey, I got this new DTF machine right here. You can get it. You know, it, it'd be a great accent to your business. You know, uh, DTF is dying. They just sold you the DTG printer. These are the things that we have to think about when it comes to what equipment we go out and purchase next. It is really, really important to look at the longevity of your business, where you wanna be a year, three, and five years from now, you may not even know the answer to these because you may not have been, been in the business long enough to figure these things out. But overall, I don't think people should be out here buying equipment just to buy equipment, right? Think about the end result, think about your customer, think about what it is that you're trying to make and figure out which machine is in your budget that you can go after and, and, and figure out if that's what you want to do or not. If that makes sense. So if you guys got a question, put it down in the comments below. What do you think about this advice? Let me know down in the comments as well. This has been your boy Stan Banks, bring you guys another Ask Stan the Man. Peace.